What is music? Well, this is music. This is also music. And this, however horrifying, is also considered music. The definition of music is very blurry, and it varies depending on an individual's previous experience with it. We listen to music from radios, speakers, or live performances through sound waves that our eardrums detect. But then again, anything that makes noise also produces sound waves. Does that mean that two people having conversations count as music? Is this purring cat producing music? And more importantly, is John Cage's most famous composition, 4 minutes 33 seconds, considered music? 4 minute 33 seconds, or 433, is the three movement piece composed by one of the most influential composers of the 20th century. John Cage composed this piece in 1952, and it allegedly took Cage five years to complete. Cage studied music and sound for most of his life. He believed that any combination of sound is considered music. So the day of the premiere at Woodstock, New York, a musician walked up to a grand piano in the center of the stage and the audience was met with the playing of John Cage's newest masterpiece. Silence. Four minutes, 33 seconds of nothing. The musician sat there playing exactly what the score has intended. Tasse, which means don't play. The sheet music is in the exact same format as any other, with three movements and an instruction from John Cage himself to the musician. Except there's no music. There's nothing musical about this piece because you can't hear anything. Or can you? You see, John Cage wants us to realize that 4 minute 33 seconds performance is mostly done not by the musician, but by the audience. The constant coughing, shuffling, babies crying, usually considered background noise, is now the center of attention. In a normal concert, these ambient noises are ignored, but in 433, random noise is exactly what John Cage wants you to experience. That means, no two performances of 4 minute 33 seconds is alike, as the audience literally writes the music as it plays. And there have been lots of different variations of 433, from a piano solo to a full orchestra. Naturally, 433 has become a huge controversy amongst musicians, and as all controversies do on the internet, it became a meme. And of course, there are a lot of questions surrounding 433. Is it considered music at all? And if 433 is the appreciation of ambient noise, when does it really end? Is the applaud of the listeners part of the music? Are we always listening to 433 since our birth? Well, no one knows because John Cage has been dead for decades, but his legacy has helped us further appreciate music, or the lack of it.